Hello again, everyone. Welcome back to a Potion Craft. Let's go ahead and uh, grab some more uh, ingredients. Uh, okay, we got some more uh, water bloom there. Some more terraria, seven of that. Some more uh, wind bloom, eight of that. And some more uh, fire bell. Do not get enough of that, I feel. And you can kind of see, like, I haven't been over here as much, I feel like, as over here. I mean, admittedly, there is, like, and, and part of that is because I've been getting more of these than that, so. Anyway, uh, let's see, that is Dryad Shelf, we're at two, so let's grab that. Uh, we're up to five Goblin Shroom, which is good. Okay, I'd run out of Witch Mushroom, so it's nice to have that back, and a more Brown Mushroom. Alright, that appears to be it. I do kind of wish that there were ways that you could expand this and get get more over time, because, like, we need more for our potions over time, and stuff like that, so, I don't know. Alright, well, let's see uh, what customers uh, we have today. Uh, Brush stones, you buying? Are you fighting someone underground? Yes, many creatures under mountain. We look for ore, look for minerals. Sometimes we dig out hives and nests of creatures. Underground spiders, worms, beetles, have to fight. All right, what do you got? Well, that feels overpriced. That apparently is cheap, so... Warm to the touch and glows slightly in the dark. Oh yeah, there's arrows here. I thought that might be related to the element, but no, so that's... These prices are up, that's normal, and this is cheaper, so we'll buy that. I'll buy that off of you. Alright, I will keep that in mind from now on. Learning things every day. So we got Potion of Acid, Potion of Berserker. Still haven't gotten a Potion of Charm. Alright. Greetings. I'm preparing to battle a wizard that can throw fireballs. I need s I need to somehow reinforce my shield so it doesn't melt away at the worst possible moment. Okay. Um. <laughs> All right. I can get one of those. I might want to redo that that potion so it doesn't use a mushroom. In fact, before I look at you, that's and that's only a weak one, so I'll get more money out of a, a normal one. Yeah, let's do that. does take more ingredients, but more common ingredients. I got a little bit more. Let's careful. Let's see if we keep going a little bit. No, all right. Recipe book. Let's erase that one. And we want to get that one. And let's go for that. There we go. Save the recipe. Finish that potion. Hello, Alchemist. Do you have a potion that restores magical powers? You might not be able to tell, but I'm a skilled fortune teller. I get many visitors, but sometimes I need to have re some rest. Help me, and fortune is sure to smile upon you. Uh, you're probably not going to want that, right? Uh, I think we can get more elsewhere, so... A potion of mana. I cannot make one of those. Which mushroom is Shadow Chanterelle? All right.
now. Let's see if we can get right in there. We'll get some extra experience along the way. of mana, and I think we'll uh, we'll redo our thing for this one as well. Um, that feels weird. Let's go with that. All right, go ahead and save that recipe and finish that potion. There we go. There you go. I'll take that 64. Hi, listen, there's a crazed fish in the area. All the fishermen know it. As soon as it takes the bait, it goes mad and swims like hell. No line can hold it. I want to soak my bait in a potion that will slow the fish down. Please help. Uh, well, I did get this. 80. That doesn't feel like very much, though. Why don't you ever catch normal fish? That's boring. You sit there, farting around, idly staring at your rod, and swatting at mosquitoes. I like tracking and catching extraordinary fish. Each one requires a unique approach and special bait, and only experienced fishermen can catch them. Bizarre fish fetch a higher price, too. If I'm really good at haggling, I'd, I'd try that, but... Um... Do, do, do. I could go for a sleeping potion. I don't have a sleeping potion. Eh, worst case scenario, also, uh, he'll say, nah, I don't want that. And I'll just have a sleeping potion around. takes five of that, though, which really does blow. Okay, can we get two? Yes, we can. There we go. Uh, how about a sleeping potion? 64. Okay, that would work. Or... 80. We'll take the 80. Alright, now yeah, I'll just have the sleeping potion around. Hello, today I have more top quality mushrooms for you, as always. Look how massive this one is, eh? That's big, alright. By the way, how is your memoir coming along? Great, I just finished a chapter about my travels in the north. I accidentally fell into an icy crevasse and spent three days getting out of it. Lived off snow mushrooms. They don't taste great, but are full of nutrition. Well, that's good. All right, what do you got? Uh, so that's cheap. Uh, that's cheap, and that is cheap. Let's get three of each. All right. Thank you. 
I'm not the one to challenge monsters head to head. I'm the one who slays them and doesn't end up dead. Sometimes it's easier to shoot a monster with a poison arrow and wait a bit than get up close. On that note, I need a good poison. The daredevils can have the rest. Um, I do not have a poison on hand, so let us see what we can do, sir. That is the wrong thing. Can I take that back? Oh, apparently I can. I may have lost that. I don't know. Whatever. I grabbed the wrong one. If I lost it, it's okay. I'll, I'll buy more. I'm just gonna go with weak heal, weak potion. Right, I need to stir. That would help, wouldn't it? go. Twenty-three? Sure. Greetings. I need a potion that confuses the senses and clouds the mind. I don't even know that I have one of those. I don't have anything, sorry. Hello, I need a healing potion that is guaranteed to help me if an enemy sword suddenly stabs me in my in the side. And it's not the worst thing that can happen to you on the night watch. Well, can you suggest anything? Uh, I can suggest a healing potion. There you go. I am the terror that flaps in the night. I am the deadly blade that always hits its mark. I am the invisible hand of fate. Well, to be honest, I'm not that invisible. Maybe you can help me with that. Um, I don't know that I can. Back up to 100 reputation. I gotta get all the way back up there again, huh? Alrighty. What do we have? There's a lot of those things around. Um, getting up there would be nice as well. There's a very faint line uh, that you can see that'll tell you which direction you're going to go um, when you use the water. Uh, and I don't actually want to do that too much. But I am going to do a little bit. extra stuff here so that I can get some uh, extra things there. And then there we go. There we go. Alright. Um... Let's go with that. There we 
There you go. There you go, sir. 226. There we go. Lost a bit of uh, reputation. That's okay. My reputation is doing very, very well. All right, we did not get our um, our alchemist coming by. It probably comes by on certain days, and so there's a lot of things that we could do. Oh, no, I'm not running low, but I did have over 50 uh, water bloom at one point. So, what is that? Are there any that we have not actually? I mean, obviously, there's a heck of a lot that we could go. I don't even know how much is here. But let's just go and get some rest now. I do want to go to bed. Watch the moon zoom on by. Alright. Uh, let's see. So we got some more uh, wind bloom. That's four, three, and three, six more uh, water bloom, which isn't bad. Uh, three more terraria, only three more fire bell, unfortunately, and only one uh, sulfur shelf. Nothing else. Feels like a light day. Yeah. All right, let's see what you guys uh, have. Hey, buddy. Hello, alchemist. How is your research going? Show me your goods. Hey, the price is going down. I like that. Might be worth trying to haggle, but I think we will just buy it. Level up, plus one talent point. All right, repair the alchemy machine. Let's get more trading. My chickens have gone crazy. They can't stand still, constantly running around the yard. I need to cook chicken, and I can't even catch one. Can I put something in their food to slow them down? Uh, sleep would, good, would be uh, good. Mm. Really? You actually want to slow them down, huh? Alright, well. Let's go see what this does. Um... So, reagent for creating albedo and void salt, negretto. Um, I don't even know what these are. So I need lots of acid and some poison in there. I need one of each of those things. Three health. Salt, sun salt, life salt. Magnum opus. Okay. Well, first of all, let's go ahead and make one of these. What else do we need? Make one of these. Weak light. Slowing stuff, huh? Alright, what do we, uh, where is that? That's acid. Alright, it's all the way down there. That I think we can do. Any of these want to take me down that way? Mushroom will get me a little bit of the way, but hmm. 
making some, uh... Well, I wonder if I need to actually create a, uh... Hmm. Let's see. Let me see. Okay. And reagents to the alchemy machine. Did I just waste that? I think I did. Yeah, I did. All right, all right. Hmm. Well, that's unfortunate. All right, what do I have that's uh, super cheap? This doesn't appear to be how you create more concentrated potions. Right, well, I have wasted some things. Alright, what do she need? She needs slow. Let's just focus on that for now. down there. Pop that in. Bring this over here. XP. Yes, we do. Do not get that one yet. All right. Okay, there we go. And that will get us right in there, so... That is how you get three, right in the middle. All right. Wow, that is going to be a pain in the butt. That is way too precise for me. There we go. All right. Level three. All right. That's how you make level three. Okay. Um, that is something to keep in mind then. Create a potion with a, uh, an effect of tier 3. There we go. Okay. And we still have not found potion of charm. 125. Excellent. This potion is perfect. Alright. So tier 3, I think, is how you is going to be what we really want to try to make, then. Our squad has orders to capture a group of bandits and bring them to a town where they will be tried for their crimes. Give me a potion that will help me uh, stupefy the bandits. 
Then we could tie them up without too much resistance. Uh, do you want a uh, potion of sleep? No. Seems like that would do it. I don't know what the heck you want. Balance isn't it. I have not found it, so... Sorry, gonna have to uh, tell you to leave. Alright. Hey there, I'll let you in on a secret. There's a spot on the river nearby with, with the tastiest fish you'll, you've ever had in your life. Only problem is, they're awfully skittish. As soon as they smell your boat, they're gone. Yep, it's hard to get close enough, except by air. If only there were a potion that makes people float over the water. I don't have anything like that. Have you caught one in the past? I used to have a rod that was longer than heck. I could cast it way out there. Then I got the... Then I got that rod hooked on a tree and it snapped on me. I'm still upset about it. Uh, I don't have that. Sorry. Hi there. I brought you some herbs and flowers. Interested? You said you love to sing. Will you sing something for me? <laughs> I already told you. I only sing when no one is listening. It's not because I can't carry a tune. I'm just shy. But maybe I'll sing for you sometime. Someday. Alright, show me your goods. Alright, that is cheap, and... Oh, that is really cheap. I'm buying all of that. That's normal priced. It's not too expensive. Alright. I'll take that. Hello, Alchemist. I'm going on a go ghost hunt soon. This particular undead is invulnerable to steel, but fortunately not to magic. Give me a potion that, it, that imbues my blade with magical power, and I will toss you a coin. Aha. Uh -huh. Aha. Uh, -huh. uh, potion of frost? Do you have any ingredients for sale? Not yet, but I plan to start selling various rare monster parts soon. They will definitely come in handy for alchemy. Okay. All right. Well, let's see what we can do about getting uh, some uh, fire. Then. Anything that's going to get me a little bit further up there. There we go. Alright, did take four of those, but that'll get us more money. Ah, shoot. I should have put the uh, fire effect on it. Only 87, though. My husband is cheating on me. I know everything, but I'm playing dumb. Very soon I'll take my revenge. Our wedding anniversary is coming up. We're having a romantic dinner for two, as always. I was bought a good wine. Now I just need a good poison. Mm, nope. Nasty witch has gotten in the habit of flying over the wheat fields and scaring the peasants. That's fine. She can fly, but she casts her spells and ruins the crops. Anyway, I need a potion so I can catch her in the air and scold her. Uh. You need bounce. That's what you need. Uh, I will take this, though. 
Aye, so I went to the brothel, but let's just say I wasn't up to the mark. And the lady even laughed in my face. Now I plan to show up again and make sh uh, and show her what a man I truly am. Can you give me a potion that makes me a god of love? Nope. Well, that's unfortunate. Alright, so let's see. Um, I'll hold on to the potion uh, of healing. Uh, actually, it is about time to end the episode, so I think we'll do some experimentation next time. And then... Yeah, go to sleep. Uh, so, we want to... Let's see. So, um, I don't know if we can mix potions in here. But we need, like, some some mixtures here. And that might be the easiest way to do it. So let's see what we can do uh, with that next time. See you then, everyone.